This is Kim Meyer, host of Choose to Rise. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Hello, my friend. Thanks for tuning in. This is Rewritten, and it's your host, Julianne Condia. If we have not met, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Whether a friend shared this with you or you stumbled upon this podcast, I'm incredibly grateful. These podcasts are here to help you grow, realize your limitless potential, and just remind you that you being you is enough. That's it. You have everything that it takes to do and be whoever you want in your life. And I hope more than anything that on the journey, you don't ever lose yourself. It's really easy to crave acceptance. It's really easy to want to be known and validated by other people. It's really easy to not put up boundaries and say yes to things that compromise integrity. It's really easy to want to cut corners and do this a faster, cheaper way. And we want to ditch the hard work and the process. It's who you become. It's never the goal. It's never the end result that makes you. It's always who you're becoming. And so as you're thinking about what it is that you want in your life, whether that's extra income to get at your goal weight to have a certain relationship. It's all about who you are becoming. And I think a lot of times what I've seen on the journey is that there's a difference between your reality and perception. I found on my journey to success and building a business I'm so proud of that there have been times where I wanted people to perceive me as a certain way. It was fun having people know me. It was fun feeling so successful that maybe I would pretend sometimes or stretch the truth and I would lose myself a little bit on the way. And this is not something that I have talked about a lot. I think once you're through it, you can look back and realize, but sometimes when you're in that world, you just want to be liked. Sometimes in that world, you just want that validation that you're enough. And being where I am now, I feel like I'm kind of an OG now where I have had a lot of success in our business. I've hit a lot of milestones, a lot of recognition, a lot of momentum and all the things. And where I am now, I just feel so confident in what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. I love it that I don't feel like I have to pretend or seek validation and approval. I literally look around in the walls of the house I'm in and just think about how thankful I am. And that's enough that I am living my dream life, that I am living the way I decided and chose to live, that all the sacrifice, hard work and grit and all the things brought me here. But in the beginning, I was telling this to some people that I mentor that in the beginning, that if I didn't do a workout that day, I would pretend to have done one just to do it. And I just think I I wanted to be respected and I wanted to look like I was so consistent all the time, which I, I was. And that's the crazy part is that it was actually just trying to be perfect and perfection is not relatable. But that's what I did because I thought that that would be better. And now being where I'm at, if I skip a workout or haven't worked out in a few days or whatever, that's something that I'll share because now I know that. But when you're rewriting your story, it's really easy to try to cut corners or make things look a certain way when they're not. Sometimes we feel like we won't be taken seriously. I remember thinking you know, when I had my highest paycheck that I would talk more about that than my lowest paycheck. Because then people would assume that's always what my paychecks looked like. And I don't know why I just needed that validation that I was just a successful person. And looking back, it makes me sad that that is something that I felt like I had to do. And I see that I see that often 
of people living in this perception world. They care so much about their ego and how they're coming across to other people that they lose themselves along the way. That they are so worried about the opinions of other people and the validation of other people that they ignore their reality. And they live in this fantasy world. And to me, it's really sad. But at the same time, I've been there. How do we not do that? How do we prevent that? I think the biggest thing is the work that you're doing, why are you doing it? I do this for my family and I do this to help women feel more confident and get fit in every area of life. Why are you doing what you're doing? Are you doing it to get approval or because you want transformation? You've really got to ask yourself that. If you're sharing about an accomplishment, are you just wanting more praise, more likes, more people to know your name? Or are you sharing that accomplishment? Because one, you're proud, and I don't think that you have to hide that. I think it's important to share your highs and your lows, right? But if you're sharing because you just want that other person who is living paycheck to paycheck to have hope, to know there's a different way, is a huge difference than just craving likes and being known. Why are you doing what you're doing? Because it's really easy to lose yourself along the way, to live into a perception of what you think you need to look like in order for people to take you seriously. I talk a lot about goals. I talk about who you have to become. I talk about your potential. But something I haven't talked about is this very thing I'm talking to you right now about. Because I've seen people change, and it takes change to change. Change is good, but not when it compromises your integrity and compromises who you are as a person to your core. It's good to go from pessimist to optimist. It's really good to go to bitter to blessing. That's not what I'm talking about. That change is really good, but I'm talking about that change of just craving this acceptance and validation because at the end of the day, it's never going to be enough. If you cannot find the fulfillment on the journey today, it's going to be really hard to find that when you hit your goal. It will be fleeting. And then if you haven't done the work on yourself, knowing yourself, why are you doing this? Who are you doing this for? And if you don't ask yourself those questions and live into that truth, even when it is so tempting to stretch the truth or hide or lie or twist things or stretch things, it is so hard. It is so tempting. There's always a consequence to our choices. And I just think that as you're on your way, I don't want you to lose who you are. It's so good to be growth oriented, to fall in love with the process, falling in love with that process of you becoming a person and knowing who you are in the lows, being thankful for the highs. And when you're right in the middle, just knowing that your consistency all adds up. You are enough. I used to struggle with two things. It switched. It started with, I'm not enough. I'm not good enough. I don't know enough. I don't have enough people in my corner, whatever it may be. I'm not smart enough. And then as I continued to go, it turned into, I'm too much. I post too much. I share too much. I work too much. Right? And what I had to realize is that instead of caring so much about how I'm perceived for other people, I had to realize how I felt about myself. There are so many people that care so much of the opinions of other people. But what do you think of you? A lot of people hold themselves back because of other people. But what do you think? What do you want? Just wanting validation will be empty. But knowing that you are making an impact while living your most fulfilled life, when you're 80, I can't help but think you're going to be so grateful that you chose the route that you did. 
on your journey to success, there are going to be so many obstacles. Stretching moments, doubt and fear. But it's who you become as you continue to show up despite the fear and the obstacles and the doubt. That you can look back and think, I didn't quit. I didn't give up on myself. I trusted the process. I know who I am and whose I am. People doubted me. It didn't matter. People praised my name. It didn't matter. What mattered is who I chose to be every single day. This is a reminder that I have to give myself. Because as you crave more income, as you crave more growth, you don't want to lose yourself along the way. Friend, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. If you could screenshot it, send it to a friend, I'd be so incredibly grateful. My Instagram is at Julianne Condia. Let's connect. I love mentoring women. If you want to earn extra income while living fit, literally incorporating fitness and nutrition, simple tools in your life, and you want to help other people do the same thing, I would love to mentor you. Let's chat. Have an incredible day. Until next time.